I started looking at all the verses on the socks. And, and I've read every one that's included. But then something in my brain, I went back and I printed everything out and I highlighted just the verses themselves that were listed. And I'm going to read them in order. And I'm just going to start and read as, and as one cohesive thought across the board. There's a couple little humpty bumps within the cohesiveness, but from top, start to, to end, it's almost a complete thought. And I thought that was the coolest thing. Now, it might just be me that sees it, which is fine, which means that was what I was supposed to see from God. What you guys get from this today is between you and God, that's it. I was obedient. I shared what I read, what I, what I, I shared what I learned from a pair of socks. So I'm just going to read them till we're finished. Then I'm going to pray and then we can sing a little bit. Therefore, I say unto you, whatsoever things you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought. But the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. Confess your faults one to another and pray for one another, that ye may be healed. The effective, fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. For I have called upon thee, for thou wilt hear me, O God. Incline thy ear unto me and hear my speech. I will watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are open unto the prayers but the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. Continue in prayer and watch in the same with thanksgiving. Rejoice evermore, praying without ceasing in everything give thanks, for this is the will of Christ Jesus concerning you. He will regard the prayer of the desolate and not despise their prayers, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all so saints. Let my prayer be set forth before thee as incense and the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. I will therefore that men pray everywhere, lifting up holy hands without wrath and doubting. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that giveth to all liberally and abradeth not, and it shall be given unto him. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering, for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. For all things whatsoever you ask in prayer, believing, you shall receive them. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace in, to help in time of need. For evening and morning and at noon, I will pray and cry aloud, and he shall hear my voice. Amen.